footer tab. In this video, we'll explore the footer tab of the invoice record. Let's get started by opening an existing invoice record. From the Invoices and Credits module, open an invoice or credit note by double-clicking on it. Alternatively, select it from the list and click Edit. The footer tab allows carriage charges and settlement discount to be added. Invoices containing multiple lines can be updated to the audit trail with a single line of data. And a tax analysis summary displays the tax codes and rates applied to the invoice. Any footer defaults entered in settings, invoice and order defaults are populated in the carriage section. In this example, both a nominal code and department have been applied. To add postage or carriage costs, enter a net amount and tax code. The VAT and gross fields will update. Changes can be made to the nominal code and department if required. For goods sent by courier, add a consignment or tracking number, then select a courier from the drop down list. The item can be tracked by clicking the ellipse button at the right. Couriers can be managed by clicking Settings, Internet Resources. Any early payment terms entered in the Credit Control tab of the Customer Record are populated in the Settlement Terms section. Both the Days and Discount Percentage fields can be amended if required. The discount amount being offered and revised invoice total are shown for reference. When an invoice is updated, every item line entered on an invoice has its own transaction created in the order trail by default. This allows each line to be assigned individual information. For example, nominal code, tax code and department. Let's look at invoice 69 which has seven item lines. If we locate invoice 69 in the transactions module, we see seven transaction lines. This is also reflected in the customer activity. Updating this way allows reporting on individual items sold. The downside is more transactions in the audit trail, meaning a larger data set. If a single nominal code, tax code and department is required, regardless of the number of line items on the invoice, the software can update the audit trail with a single transaction line instead. To do this, in the global section, enter a nominal code to post all invoice items to. Add a global narrative in the details field, then select the global tax code and department if required. To illustrate the difference of how these invoices will update to the audit trail, invoice 69 shows like this. Whereas invoice 92, which has the same item lines, shows like this, as it's had global details entered. Let's now open invoice 85 to demonstrate the tax analysis section. In here, the tax codes assigned to each invoice item line are summarised. If this information is a requirement when sending invoices to customers, Select an invoice layout with tax breakdown in the name, and these will show on the invoice when printed or emailed. You've now explored the footer tab of the invoice record.